Hi, Jan Tchaikovsky here once again with Jan's Plans and Hands. Um, I w missed you at the end of last week because I was down in El Paso at the, uh, at the border on a very busy schedule, um, seeing what is a very chaotic and broken immigration system, which I believe is clearly intended to cause the pain and confusion that it is to somehow try and make enough pain for people that they are discouraged from coming across the, the, the border. And of course, um, Ciudad Juarez is right across from El Paso, used to be considered just one big metropolitan area, and now they've hardened the, the border to make it really difficult to, to get across um, and holding up c commerce as well as, as people. Um, we went to an ICE detention center. We were told we would be able to speak to people. I know that uh, um, Veronica Escobar, who is the congresswoman there, wanted us to be able to talk to people that are on a hunger strike. Um, and they have family here in the United States, and yet they're being forcibly given IVs. They may be soon be given um, forcible feeding this is the United States of America, and these are really, in many ways, torture elements. We didn't get to see them, and we didn't get to, to, to talk to them. Um, so while we saw people doing good work down there, charitable people um, ha and in um, shelters on both sides of the border, it's a pretty grim picture there. Um, and I want to tell you, when every time Donald Trump does one of his rallies and talks about immigrants, I think he is creating a security threat because the way that he demonizes immigrants, I think, um, certainly does empower people who hate immigrants, but then I think also want to do harm to immigrants. And that's what happened on Saturday. Um, and of course, we saw that now 22 people are dead from this mass shooting in uh, the Walmart store in El Paso, um, mostly um, with uh, Latino last names. They may be citizens of the United States, they may be citizens of, uh, uh, of Mexico, but the shooter was deliberately aiming for them. He had written this whole negative screed about that, um, and that was what he, was set, he set out to do. And of course, there's still many people injured, I hope, at this point that the death toll doesn't go up. And then followed by Dayton, Ohio, um, where we saw a mass murderer being able in less than a minute, because that's when the, the police got there, to shoot and kill nine people. Unbelievable. That's what happens with these w weapons of war in the hands of maniacs who want to kill people. So we um, have been, we the Democratic Caucus, we had a phone call yesterday talking about why, how we can get Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell, to be able to call the bill for universal background checks that the House of Representatives passed um, and, 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 and it closes all the loopholes, the gun show loophole, the online by being able to, to, to buy weapons, and you have to get a background check. Mitch McConnell can have that bill called. Senators are willing to go back now, tomorrow, the next day, do it, and then they could go home again. It could be that fast. So Mitch McConnell and all of those senators that are up for election should be called upon to push on Mitch McConnell to actually call the bill. There are over 180 members of the House of Representatives who have co-sponsored a bill on uh, getting rid of assault weapons. We used to have assault weapon ban, and we need 218 to be able to pass a bill. So we're hoping that we'll get people to help us get more um, members to, to sign up, Republicans and Democrats, to sign up and say that we're not going to have these weapons of mass destruction in the hands of ordinary people. And then there's also a bill called the Closing the um, Charleston loophole, this was when that shooter went into the um, Mother um, Emanuel Church and shot up, you know, people in the congregation. He was given a gun that he was not entitled to when a gun dealer gave it to him before the um, final background check was completed. 
This law would prevent it. Another one that Mitch McConnell could, if we passed it, could pass if he would only call these bills up that we've already done. We have work to do to make our country safe and to make our country humane. So those are the two issues. They're not disconnected um, to each other. The issue of the ill treatment of immigrants and the issue of um, gun, gun violence, the issue of domestic terrorists, um, which we're going to be investigating, the issue of white nationalism. Um, these are issues that are threats to the United States of America. They need to be dealt with. Um, Democrats, even um, as we're on our uh, research, re recess from Washington, are continuing to organize and fight on these issues. Thanks so much.